Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I thought I would pop on and do an impromptu live video, something that I should do a lot more often. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I just got a notification or an email saying that the Potter Collector is live. I know I'm live. <laughs> How can you, uh, how can you, can you guys hear me? Okay. This is a, a new mic. It's, um, I guess a better mic than anything else. So hopefully the sound is a lot better than past live videos. Everyone is popping on. Cool. Everybody can hear me. That's good here. There, I, I noticed also there's like buttons on not buttons, but like dials on the back. So let's see if like this. I don't really know like gain and stuff. So either I turned it up a little bit. Is that like any better? Is it worse? Everybody's joining in. Oh, it's about the same. Okay. Oh, or better. Same and better. Sounds good. So I thought I'd just pop on and do a chat. As I mentioned a second ago, I need to do more of these random live videos with you guys and so what do you want to talk about what should we talk about let's talk about 200,000 subscribers 200,000 potter collector community members happened yesterday um we officially hit 200,000 community members and oh i see a no what does that mean <laughs> i don't know yeah, oh, I, I think people can still hear me. Good. Yeah, so 200,000... Guys, this is crazy. Seriously, seriously, still mind-blowing. Six months ago, less than six months ago, we hit 100,000 subscribers, 100,000 members of this Potter Collector community, and now we're at 200,000. It's insane. Now, uh, video views as well as subscriber... Um, Counts have gone down, so I don't think in six months we're going to have 300,000 members. But we're still growing, and the community is still growing. And it's going to be awesome to see where we are in six months. And I also want to mention the, the giveaway that I'm doing to celebrate 200,000 subscribers is now live. If you have not seen that video, definitely check it out. I am giving away two... $200 shopping sprees at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to two of you guys, and I will do it via Skype. So I will go around video calling you, showing you the different shops, some of the different merchandise. Um, definitely watch the shop tours after you've entered, or if you want to wait, you can it to see if you've won. And if you do win, check out the different shop tours that I've done at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter which will help you kind of figure out what you may want to show you what's there because we're not going to have a ton of time. We're going to have maybe about an hour to an hour and a half per person to go around to the different shops. So if you have a list of things like I definitely want to want to do that. Um, yeah, it's going to be insanely fun for me and for you, I'm sure, but to go around and, shop for you guys and then after you've you've selected your items i will take them home to chicago with me i live in chicago but this will happen in orlando and then send them to you so no matter where you are in the world i will send you your items if you are someone who if, if you win and you're in orlando um we could definitely meet up or if you're going to be at the wizarding world of harry potter or if you win and you're like you know what i'm flying down and I'd like to meet up and do shopping in person. That's cool too. And I'm going to give you guys a little, if, I don't know if I should say this. No, I, I'm going to say it. Um, if one of you wins and you can come to Orlando, I will be able to get you a private wand ceremony. So an added Added bonus, added bonus if you can come to Orlando. Um, if you would like to purchase a wand, you you may have a private wand ceremony. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, no pressure, obviously. Um, and I don't know who's going to win. You know, two people could win from 
A person could win from Denmark. I'm mean, just making stuff up and another person from China, you know, so, but Hey, if you can fly down private wand ceremony is a possibility. So let's see what else did I want to say about that? Yeah. So go, go check that out. There's a video about the giveaway. It's actually a really fun video. It was a fun video to make. I made it with my friend, Julie, and she, uh, I'm not going to tell you too much just because there's some comedic moments in there and she came up with some fun ideas and um, it was a fun video video to view. There's magic in it as well as um, uh, some, some uh, going into some of the shops and showing you just a kind of an overview of some of the things you may want to, to choose and what's there. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, Cheryl L. Sanavitis, San Sanavitis, thank you for the super chat. Woohoo! She says, she says, woohoo, for the giveaway. I'm assuming it's for the giveaway, which is pretty awesome. I'm so stoked about this giveaway. Like, seriously, seriously stoked. Uh, all right, we see. Uh, what happens if the winner doesn't have Skype? Then the winner will have to get Skype. It's it's free. It's a free service. Um, so it, you can use it on your computer or you can use it on a phone. So if you're, I mean, if you're here in the chat right now, you're either on a phone or a computer, so you can you can get Skype, and um, yeah, so exciting. You can enter. You have to enter by December fifth, so you have until December fifth, and then I will announce the winners on December sixth. And so on December sixth, if you enter, make sure you you um, uh, put in your calendars that the winners will be announced December sixth because. The winners will only have 24 hours to claim their shopping spree until someone else is selected. I want to make sure that when I am down in Universal, I have two people to do the shopping spree with. Um, there's there are other there's other information and rules in the description as well as the video. So definitely go and check that out. All right, let's get to some questions. Um. Rachel Broxton, thank you so much for the super chat. Super competition and first live for me. Hey, first live for you from the UK. Welcome. Welcome to the first live. Happy to have you here, Rachel. Um, and Jordy, Jordy says, hi, Peter. Congrats on 2000, uh, 2000 subscribers. Yes. It's still, it happened yesterday. And I, I said this on my Instagram story, like when it happened, I said, um, you know, it's, what did I say? Let's just go on Instagram and see what I said. Basically, like it's weird, but then like when it when it actually hits, it's like crazy. Or like you know it's gonna you know it's coming, but then when it when it actually hits. Or impatiently sitting here waiting for two hundred thousand subscribers to hit. We are at one hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety two. So eight away, eight subscribers away from two hundred thousand. Potter Collector community members. You guys, this is crazy. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was, and it was delicious. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I was we giddy. Subscribers. I I really am speechless. Like it, it's it's weird when you know something's coming, but then when it actually arrives, it hasn't updated on the main page yet. It still says one ninety nine. Anyway, so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna flip. So that's what I said. You know, it's it's like you know it's coming, but when it actually arrives, it's like holy cow. So it's like you prepare yourself for it, but then all of that preparation goes out the door when it actually arrives. So yeah. Um what was the question? Oh no, there wasn't a question. It was a super chat. So thank you for the congratulations. And thank you everyone else for for the congratulations here in the chat. Um let's see, what else can I I apologize if I can't get to your question. They are coming really, really fast, but I will do my absolute best. Um, how are the bookshelves? The bookshelves are good. The bookshelves are great. Um, these are Ikea uh, best, Besta. That's not the right way to pronounce it, um, but it's spelled Besta. And I like them because they're, I like them more than the Billy shelves just because they're a little bit more substantial. Um, but over on this side, I have uh, one, two, three rows of four shelves that 
the books need to be put in their correct. I, I looked at the the microphone like that's where you guys are. <laughs> um, I have to put them in their correct order because I do alphabetical order by language. So I need to put those in order. And the more books that I have, the harder it is to do. Um, uh, can you ship to South, Af South Africa? Yes. So the giveaway is open to anyone in the world with shipping included. So yeah, I will ship anywhere. I will ship any, 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 anywhere. Um, Molly, Molly Rook says, you're the best YouTuber. Thank you. That's very, very sweet of you to say. And can I please be your friend? We are friends. I mean, we're all friends here. The Power Clutch community, we are all friends, which is cool. See, again, oh, hold on one second. We got us, a, a, oh, Cheryl sent another super chat. Thank you. Uh, December 6th is Nicholas Day, Santa Potter Collector. <laughs> yes, I'm, I will gladly, I should have a Santa hat. I don't have a Santa hat, but Santa Potter Collector is providing a, uh, a shopping spree for two of you on the good list. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, so yeah, with 200,000 subscribers, this community, it's, it's just insane to think that, and this is an encouragement. If you're thinking like, you know, I want to start a YouTube channel or I'm wanting to start a, an Instagram account. It's crazy. It's still crazy for me to think that I've created this and grown it to what it is today. Like we're a community of uh, just on YouTube, 200,000 people. Like that's insane. So if you are, if you are thinking about starting something, just do it. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. I had no idea this was going to happen. Um, so it's an encouragement for you to, to follow your dream and whatever it is, whether it's starting a YouTube channel or something totally different, um, to go for it. And you'll never know unless you try, you know, and at least you'll know that if you tried and it didn't work out, it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just didn't work. It wasn't wasn't meant to happen. Um, but if if you don't try, you'll you'll you you may regret not trying when you get older. Or anyway, encouragement speech over. <laughs> Go for your dreams. Go for your dreams and see what happens. Um, if someone wins in Chicago, will you drop it off personally? Sure, I would. I would drop it off personally. Absolutely. Um. We got another super chat from Jordy. Thank you. Update on OK. Ugh, you guys, you know this stresses me out. The Guinness World Records for the most books. It is so stressful. So for those who don't know, um, Guinness Book of World Records has approved me to go for the, the um, record for the largest collection of books by a single author. And the problem is I have to bring all of my books to a public location to be counted by officials um, for the record. So the thought of moving 1,600 books, 16, 1,700 books, I haven't counted for a while, but the thought of that is stressful. Not just the fact that something may get lost or damaged, but um, I'm not too concerned about that because I wouldn't bring my super rare books. I just wouldn't count those. But the thought of just moving everything and the containers I would have to purchase to put them in. And I'd probably have to rent a, some sort of truck to transport them. Um, it's a little, little bonkers. So I still have not done it. Um, and I'm probably running out of time because they're going to like cancel my request or something. So not much on that front. Um, I just have to do it, but, yeah, I don't know. I know winter is coming, so I don't know. Um, oh, wait, we had another super chat from, where'd it go? By uh, Shum, uh, if we win if we win and are from Chicago, do we meet you? Yes, absolutely. I would definitely drop off or meet you somewhere uh, and drop off your, your shopping spree items. <clears throat> Um, we got another super chat. Oh my goodness. You guys are, you're, you're too, too kind. 
Look out for an owl Christmas letter in the mail. Okay, Disney and coffee. Disney and coffee, I will certainly look out for a Christmas letter. Another one. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let's have a Potter. Yes. Let's have a Potter Collector gathering in Orlando. So I will be in Florida for the month of January. And that's when I'm planning to do some sort of meetup. At the, at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So uh, that, yes. So that's that's definitely in the back of my mind of something that I want to do. It's it, Well, it's more in the front of my mind. But <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Um, I see lots of requests for me to sing. As you can hear, my voice is a little low today. Um, so I don't know that singing would be the best idea right now but <laughs> all right let's see let's see what else can we start how am i today that's a good question i'm good and it's night where you are um i am doing well thank you for asking i hope you are doing well as well <clears throat> um uh bye uh Cars Carsey Damon. Oh wait, no, you didn't say goodbye. <laughs> it's the one one ahead of you. Uh, Thunderbirds and Harry Potter fan. Goodbye. But Carson, uh, or, wait, Damon. I'm sorry, I I totally messed up your name. Um, but your question, since I uh, called you out, I will say. Um, so who's your favorite teacher, Dumbledore? Dumbledore is definitely my favorite teacher. Um, well, I mean, he's not really teacher in the Harry Potter books. Uh, so favorite teacher, even though she's very stern, is probably McGonagall. Because you can just tell that she has like a loving heart, you know? So I would I would say McGonagall. Jordy, oh my goodness, you are just you are just sending those super chats like uh, and it's funny, you say candy, rank Harry Potter candy. I was gonna say you're sending them out like like candy or hotcakes. Rank Harry Potter candy. Okay, I'll do like top three. Um, from Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, I had fudge flies for the first time recently, and they are really good. They taste like a fudgy chocolate. So I put that in the number three slot. I would put Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean in number two and the Chocolate Frog as number one. The Chocolate Frog is really, really good chocolate, and it's solid too. It's like this big. No, it's a little bit bigger. It's like that big, and it's solid chocolate. I eat the whole thing in one sitting because it's delicious. Oh, wait, we got another super chat somewhere. Wait. Oh, holy moly, cannoli, 20 pounds. Jill, Jill Owls, thank you so much from Scotland. Very, very cool. It's so I, I recorded with uh, Mugglecast today for their 44th, 444th episode. We were talking about um, holiday gift ideas. And no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you what we did. Cause it's kind of a surprise. You'll just have to listen at the very beginning of the episode. I'll listen to the whole episode, but at the beginning of the episode, I'm not going to tell you what we did. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, no, I don't want, I don't want to ruin the surprise. So, but check it out and then you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about uh, in the beginning. It's, it's very fun. Another one, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Will you be coming to LeakyCon in Orlando? I am planning on attending, yes. Um, it just has to work out with my work schedule because summer is my busy time. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I might not be able to go. What is the date again? Let's see. LeakyCon. Right, let me check right now. I might be in a musical. <clears throat> a poop on a stick. All right, July 31st to through August 2nd. Let me see when when the musical is happening. Um, for those of you wondering, the musical is Beauty and the Beast. Um, so I'm going to be auditioning for that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
yeah, I was planning to go to LeakyCon Orlando, um, which is so sad because they usually like rent out Wizarding World for for like an evening. <clears throat> ah, no. <laughs> Uh, that's the weekend that we close. Shoot. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. And there's nothing I can do because I, I, I've been waiting for, you know, the theater company that I work with to do Beauty and the Beast and I can't miss that. Oh my goodness. I am so bummed right now, but I'm glad that you brought it up because... I would have found out and been sad otherwise. Son of a nutcracker. Well, everyone at LeakyCon Orlando, have a blast. Oh, I guess maybe I could fly in for like Sunday because we close on Saturday. So I might be able to fly in early on Sunday and be there. But I'll probably miss like the Wizarding World Day or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, we got another super chat from Heidi. Heidi says, since starting your collection, how many languages have you learned about that you didn't know existed before? That's a good question. Tons. Um, like the first one that comes to my head is like Sinhala. Um, and let's see what else. Like uh, tons of things, different Catalan, uh, uh, different uh, Spanish for, uh, edition of uh, Spain languages like Catalan and um uh what's the other one uh um brain fart anyway another one <laughs> um yeah no i mean just even just looking around the room there are a ton of languages that like farsi farsi persian which is this one here um you know, I, I didn't realize they spoke Farsi Persian in, in Iran. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've, I've, it's, it's cool being a translation collector because you learn a lot. You learn what different languages are, are where different languages are spoken. You see different um, type scripts, you know, uh, how, how books are written. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's very, very interesting. Old languages that have been translated into Harry Potter books. I'm still waiting for a Native American language, like Cherokee or something. I know it's like in people's minds, but it has to be approved and all of that sort of thing. Um, oh, <laughs> everyone's, uh, Lala, everyone's crazy and haha, I say poop on a stick too. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of my favorite things to say because <laughs> it's funny. Um, we got, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, you are so generous. Like there's, there's super chats coming out the wazoo. Um, uh, Elizabeth, I think you should do a Harry Potter musical or Potter collector musical. That could be fun. Like just in the Potter collector library, like a musical, a musical journey of collecting Harry Potter books, <laughs> a musical journey of the person who collected every translation, something. I don't know that that could be very fun. Um, Cheryl again, Beauty and the Beast? Question mark, question mark, question mark. When? When? It's in the summer of 2020. And I am super stoked and fingers crossed that I get the part that I want. There are really two parts I would love to play, but I would love to be the Beast. Um, he has a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, but also, Gaston would be a really fun character to play. Um, so really either one of those would be fun, but I'm definitely going for the beast. Uh, Jade, thank you very much for the super, super, super chat for the super chat. And Esme Arrows, thank you. Hype. I like that, that it's a, um, a hippo going hype, 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 hype. I like that. That's fun. Uh, Afrikaans. Yes, I do have Afrikaans. I'll have every single published translation. So so if you know that Harry Potter books have been uh, translated into a particular language, I have it. I have it here. So now the now what I'm doing is collecting various um, uh, various 
yes, you should, person who just texted me, and you must. Um, you must come see me in Beauty and the Beast if I get a roll of part. Uh, roll, of course. What was I saying? Oh, um, so now that I have all the translations, what I'm doing now is just collecting different editions of translations because some of the translations, like for example, German, this, uh, where does German start? German starts here. Can you see that? Here goes all the way across. Like there's another shelf on past this shelf. Oh no, this is the last shelf. So it goes from here down to there and then here down to there here oh and oh there's oh there's more that on that side that you can't see um so tons of germans edition or uh, sets and editions so i'm collecting the different ones there's a new bulgarian set that is on the way with new cover artwork i love when new editions are released with new cover artwork so yeah excited about that to arrive um we have another super chat you guys what on earth wait where is it i gotta find it Oh my goodness, how, you guys, stop it. You're too generous. Wait, what's this one? Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> uh, Jade says, hello, first live from UK. Have you ever thought about coming to the UK and going to Platform 9 and 3 quarters or Warner Brothers Studio Tour? I have been to the UK. And I have been to both. Both are awesome. The studio tour is beautiful. I love seeing sets and costumes and uh, all of the different props. And um, I'm planning to to come back to the UK sometime in April. So April, watch out for like a you know a meetup announcement or something because I would love to do a meetup in uh, London. And then Kevin sent a super chat. Hey, buddy, glad to catch a live stream. Hope to see you in future Leaky Cons. Um, working on any future, any new costumes or cosplays. I am not at the moment, but one of the ones that I would love to do is Gilderoy Lockhart. That's always one that I've wanted to do. I thought it'd be fun not only to make the costume, but to be the character, to just be this obnoxious character, um, like at a con or something. So that's, that's, I, I don't know if that will come to fruition, but, um, no, but no, at the moment there is not, um, not anything on the, uh, on the sewing table. There's no sewing table here. My friends, um, uh, Haley and Michael have, uh, like a whole sewing room. They're fantastic. Uh, we have an, oh my goodness, another super chat. You guys, you are too, too kind. Hey, from Nate, Nate River. Hey, love your channel. Glad you are well. I'm a Hufflepuff in Hogwarts and a Puckwudgie in Ilvermorny. I'm also a Puckwudgie in Ilvermorny. Um, also, I'm not a woman, not a guy. Okay, and that's fine. I'm glad that you're here. All right, now I'm going to get to some... Uh, some questions from the rest of y'all. Patronus, that's a good question. What is your Patronus? My Patronus is a raven. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's pretty cool. Although I guess ravens are like some of the smartest birds. Um, so that's fun. Um, how are you going to choose the winners? Uh, so for the all of my giveaways, I use a website called Comment Picker. And... <clears throat> what it does is it randomly selects a comment from a YouTube video and filters out duplicates. So even if, even if you posted multiple comments, um, you know, it, it'll filter out any duplicates and give everyone just one, one shot to make it as fair as possible. And then after the winners are selected, um, I will, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I'm going to film a dedicated video announcing the winners of the giveaway, and then I will send them additional information, make sure that they did all of the the, the things in the rules, so make sure that they're follow, uh, subscribed, um, liked, commented. Well, I know that they'll comment it because that's where the uh, 
the the winners selected as well as shared and entered by you know the 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 um december 5th at 11 59 p.m chicago time or central standard time i'm going to take a drink because my voice keeps getting lower lower So that is how the winners will be selected. <clears throat> oh, New Zealand. I would love to visit New Zealand. Um, yeah, Australia and New Zealand are some of the places I've always wanted to visit, <clears throat> as well as Africa. I would love to visit some of the different countries in Africa, really anywhere. Um, I feel like now that I'm getting older, I need to start traveling more, even though I really just love Orlando. <laughs> like I could go to Orlando every weekend and not go anywhere else ever in my life and probably be happy, but I should start, you know, seeing some other places. Um, yes, I would love to visit New Zealand. Harry Potter Club, of course we are friends. We're not just friends, we're a community. Um, let's see. You totally imagine me as as you as... Excuse me. Sorry. Lou. Excuse me. Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. Hello from Norway. Uh, Pig Rix. Hello, hello. Yes, I could hold candles for the entire play. <clears throat> Kevin, hello, Kevin. Thank you again for the second super chat. Um, I would send a bunch of super chats, but I'm sure people want their questions answered. Have a great live stream. We'll shoot you a DM soon about a thing. Okay. Looking forward to hearing about a thing. And thank you for the super chat. Um, very, very kind of you. Definitely appreciated. Um, and... Yeah, it also helps me see your questions. So if you're asking a question and I don't see it, I'm sorry. One way to make sure that I see it is to send a super chat. Um, but I will answer as many questions as I can that aren't super chatted. Right now, I'm going to say, oh, Connor from Chicago just joined. And by the way, my, my foot slit on the chair. That wasn't a toot. Just clear in the air. Clearing the air. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so welcome from Chicago. Uh, how many hats do you have? Hats like hats, like this kind of hats, or like wizarding hats. Um, I have two hats that I wear like this. I have a white hat, and I have a black hat, just like this. And <laughs> but I don't know if those are the hats that you're talking about. And I have my Dumbledore hat. And then I have a Slytherin student hat. I think that's about it. Oh, I have Professor McGonagall's hat, which my mom uses when she cosplays as... Cosplays? When she cosplays as uh, Professor McGonagall, uh, Mama Potter collector, I should say. And yeah. Oh, we have another super chat. Uh, the lovely Marie. Hello, the lovely Marie. When are you be doing the Instagram live chat again? Yes, that's so fun, isn't it? Um, I did it last in Orlando when I was in Orlando a couple weeks ago. And um, so what I've been doing is, um, oh, real quick, Jordy, good night. Take that nap. Love you back. And he says, Jordy, says bye to uh, the Potter Collector community. So yes, goodbye, Jordy. Um, back to uh, Marie's question. Um, hopefully soon. It's So So what I've been doing, I, I took a, a book out of Cherry Wallace's book, who I guess she took a book out of someone else's book, um, but I'm copying Cherry. I don't know who she copied, but I'm copying Cherry. And what she, what I saw her do was do an Instagram live and she allowed um, people who are watching to answer her a question or answer her a question, ask her a question live. So she went live on with someone else. Um, and so it's, it's a fun way for, for me to connect with, 
with you guys uh, face to face, as well as for other Potter Collector community members to to connect with other Potter Collector community members and be able to put a face to a name. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be doing that soon. Yeah, it's it's really fun, like really really fun. I was nervous, crazy crazy nervous um, when I first did it, but it's so fun to just chat with other Potter collectors. Um, hello, Nicole from Illinois. Um, all these Chicago and Illinois people. I love it. Um, do you know who Vagard is? Of course I know Vagard. Yes. Um, I'm hoping that he's going to be coming to Orlando sometime soon. Um, in which case I will meet him down there and we will collaborate, which would be fun. Um, Wow, lots of people from all over. It's see, that's the other thing. Like it's like I said it before, how it still kind of boggles my mind that, like, I created this, and I mean, obviously, we all created it together because we're all here together. But like people from all over the world. I mean, it's it's it really is Harry Potter because everyone loves Harry Potter, and we can all connect to Harry Potter in different ways. It brings all of us together. It's it's awesome. Joe Mama, Joe Mama, yes. Um, uh, um, uh, Mama Potter Collector, I couldn't think of what it was <laughs> for a second, but yes. Joe Mama, Mama Potter Collector. All right. Super chat from Cheryl. Again, Cheryl, you are just sending those super chats. Mama Potter Collector is awesome. She is totally awesome. I love Mama Potter Collector. Um, all right. What else can I answer? Oh, okay. Here's, so this whole, uh, Kappa thing or Kappa thing, there's so much confusion and YouTube really does need to elaborate a little bit more on the whole situation. If you're not, I'm not going to go into it, but if you're not aware of Kappa, um, just search on YouTube, C-O-P-P-A, and tons of videos will come up um, to explain what's going on. But it's uh, the the uh, ch it's the Child Protect Online Protect Protection Act, um, Privacy Protection Act, and there's talk that so so now videos have to be marked as for kids or not for kids. The problem is if you mark things for kids you lose ad revenue, you lose commenting ability on videos, um, you lose the community tab, you lose a lot of stuff. But if you mark your videos as not for kids, there's there's this like middle ground where, like I don't make videos for kids. These videos that I make are not for kids. They are for Harry Potter fans, Family, it's, it's family friendly content but I don't specifically make it for kids. I make it for my generation or the generation below me who grew up with Harry Potter and loves Harry Potter. And then I have, I have, um, uh, there are people who watch who are in their sixties and seventies that I have met. And it's so cool that we have this massive age gap or a message age, um, not gap, but we have people from all over, from all ages watching and part of the Potter Collection community. And um, so YouTube needs to specify. So so, so in, in the COPPA law, it's, it's from the FTC, which is the, um, oh, <laughs> Mama Potter Collector is watching. Age span, that's the word. Thank you, Mama Potter Collector. She just sent me a text. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so the FTC, the the Federal Trade uh, Commission, or something like that, the government, uh, in their law, they say that there's an exception for basically like you know mixed mixed age content. So things that kids may be drawn to, kids meaning children under thirteen, um, but also that adults are drawn to. Um, so I I I'm pretty sure that. The Power Culture channel is protected by that 
part of the law, but YouTube needs to clarify and come up with some better system so that creators aren't fined because the FTC can fine creators if they mark their videos as not for kids, but then they feel that the video is for kids. So there's a lot of confusion. Content creators are very confused. Um, a lot of clarification needs to be made. So, so look up COPPA and there's stuff that you can do to help. Um, you could sign a peti uh, petition as well as uh, leave a message for the FTC. Again, I don't have all those links, but look it up. And um, there are other content creators who are a lot smarter than I am in this area who have set up ways for you to, you know, share, share your thoughts on everything. Um, so sorry, that was a long, long answer, but, um, at the moment I'm not super worried, but I'm starting to get a little worried about the whole thing. Um, okay. I'm going to move on from that. Um, which animal would you take to Hogwarts? I would absolutely take an owl. I love birds. I would take, um, a snowy owl or a barn owl with me. Where did you find the Filipino Harry Potter books? There's actually only one book. It's only um, Sorcerer's Stone that they have uh, translated into, good night, Nana, um, that they have translated into Filipino. And um, I got mine before, I'm pretty sure I got mine before translations were a big thing for collectors. So I started in 2001 with translations. So I got some of the rare translations that are still in like mint condition before anyone even started um, for basically book cover price. Um, but I have seen Filipino editions on Abe Books, abebooks.com. And where is Filipino? F. French. Where's French? There's French. French. Mm. Wait, where's Filipino? Do I have it under P? That'd be weird if I have it under P. Um, I'm going to show you the, uh, the ISBN number so you can look it up. Um, but I'm getting confused. Here is R J um, Filipino. Where are you? L M N O. Oh my goodness gracious. P here's P. No, I, I wouldn't have it under P, but it's not under F. Oh, wait, it's before French. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Uh, there it is. Found it. That took forever. Okay. So here's the Filipino edition. It's, it has, it's, it's all in um, English, but it says Filipino edition here. And it is in Filipino, you know, the, the text itself. But here, take a screenshot of the ISBN number. If it'll focus, there we go. So take a screenshot of that and then look that number up um, in Abe Books. And I need to snip those fingernails. Yeah, so check check that out, uh, Abe Books. And also the ISBN number, really for anything, any translation. Um, oh, I missed a super chat. I will, I will super chat on up to the chat after I answer this question. Um, uh, oh, any any translations that you're looking for, if you can find the ISBN number and search it in Google, you can usually find the book. Um, so definitely do that with the uh, Filipino edition. All right, scrolling up. Thank you for telling me that I missed a super chat. Um, from, from Adam. Hello, Adam. Can you show the Elder Wand? I'm 11 and read all the books. Very, very cool. So how cool is that, that you're 11 and you started reading the books? 
when Harry was 11. Very cool. Let me go get the Elder Wand. Where is the Elder Wand? I don't know what box. Let's see if I, if I got lucky and pulled it the first. I did! I got lucky and pulled it. The very first wand. Dun 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 dun. Here is the Noble Collection Elder Wand. So there you go. There's the Elder Wand. So have you read all of the books? Or are you still on the first book? Either way, very, very cool that you're 11 and you are reading the books. And I'm glad that you are part of the Potter Collector community. Um... Do I know Tessa Netting? I don't know her personally. Um, we have chatted online back and forth a little bit. And um, hopefully we will we will meet up sometime soon. All right, let's see. Um, how many wands do I have? Um, I have maybe like... If I don't include like the mystery wands, which are there, is it nine or 11? It's either nine or 11 in the series. And I have all of them from both series. If I don't, if I don't um, count those, I probably have like maybe 20 wands. So the wand collection's getting up there. Um, yes, the new Bulgarian covers are on their way, which is very exciting. Favorite wand is the the Elder Wand. I love the Elder Wand. Uh, favorite ride at, at Universal Studios um, is is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, followed by Forbidden Journey, which is the ride in Hogwarts. Um, yeah, definitely Hagrid's. Hashtag Hag Ride. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. They uh, uh, Who came up with Hag Ride? I think it was... Um, Katie, my friend Katie Ayani, who's um, the Harry Potter fan. And I think she came up with that hashtag. But yeah, very clever hashtag. Um, Kathy N, I'm 52. Am I the oldest here? Why don't we find out? All right, so if you're here, everyone type in your age. I'll I'll start. There. I started. 10, 38, 21, 31, 46. They're coming. 69. We got a 69-year-old here. Uh 58, 67. Uh 61, 62, 58, 16, 40, 29. See, this is what I'm talking about. There is a massive age span on this this channel in this community. How cool is that? Not just that you know all y'all are here, but that Harry Potter just spans all age groups and age gaps, and that's just the coolest thing. Eighty two, awesome! Happy to have you here. Uh, I am uh, thirty two. I'm 32. Normally I have people guess my age, but crazy. That's awesome. Someone just sent me a text. Where? Oh, <laughs> so someone just said, uh, sent me a text. This is someone from um, uh, the theater group I'm part of. because I'm in uh, Holiday Inn. I'm playing Jim Hardy in Holiday Inn. Uh, this this holiday season, this Christmas season. Can you send me a list of which dresses you wear crinoline with? <laughs> I don't wear any dresses with crinoline, let alone any dresses in the play. So that was meant for someone else. Um, let's see. Uh, what's your blood type? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Is that something that you share 
<laughs> I'm going to keep that to myself. Um, but that's an interesting question. Never been asked that before. Um, all right. Uh, 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 what do I want to answer that I haven't answered already? Um, oh, yes, the shirt. This is a, a Geek Gear shirt. Um, and I'm actually impressed by it because Geek Gear shirts I was never super happy with. Oh, no, this is Loot Crate. Oh, no. No, this is Loot Crate. Loot Crate always makes good shirts. Yeah, this is a Loot Crate shirt. They make good shirts, but Geek Gear shirts, I've been impressed recently. Their quality has gone up quite a bit. Um, yeah. Um, why did you start YouTube? Good question. So I started my Instagram account to share my collection, photos of my collection. And then people started finding it and asking me questions and that evolved more into like an educational thing where I was showing what was available, different translations. Um, and then thought that YouTube would be a good way for me to connect and do kind of Harry Potter book collecting lessons or um, helpful tips, you know, that sort of thing. And then it evolved into merchandise reviews and Wizarding World of Harry Potter tours, um, unboxings, as well as, you know, mixed in book lessons. Um, so yeah, I started it to help you guys help other collectors or Harry Potter fans see what's out there and how to acquire certain things and how to, you know, tell the difference between a first edition and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so that's, that's how it started. And then it's evolved into what it is today. And now we're at 200,000 subscribers. Like, what the heck? It's bedonkers. Starbucks or Dunkin'? Okay. De Starbucks. Starbucks, definitely. But I do like Dunkin's coffee from Dunkin'. I don't like their home, their pre-packed stuff that you take home and brew yourself. I, they, they must not have the same coffee. I don't know. But yeah, at Dunkin', their, like, their cold brew is delicious, um, especially with a shot of espresso. Um, but Starbucks is definitely my go-to go -to place. And I have not visited the new Starbucks, which is in Chicago. It's the largest Starbucks in the world. It's also a roastery, one of six. Need to get there and check that out. Um... Your grandpa used to own a Duncan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would be the coolest thing <laughs> be growing up. And just like, I, I did you just go into Duncan all the time and just like eat donuts? Cause that's what I would do. And I would love it. <laughs> oh yeah. That'd be fun. A Starbucks, um, roastery meetup. We could all drink coffee and talk about Harry Potter. Um, okay. Uh, hey, Peter, I might be going to London in December. Do you know some cool Harry Potter related stuff to do in London? Definitely the studio tour, um, but tickets may be sold out already. So check, check to see if you can get tickets to the studio tour. Um, it's fantastic. You're going to need more than three hours. So they say, you know, they recommend three hours. You're going to need more than three hours. Um, some of my friends said that. And I said, no, three hours is plenty, three hours is plenty. And then we ended up missing our scheduled bus just to stay. Um, thankfully, we were able to get on to another bus. But we we missed the bus because three hours was not enough. Um, Noble Collection Store is beautiful, very beautiful. Also, Mina Lima is there. Mina Lima created all of the graphic artwork and things for the Harry Potter movies. They also designed like the time turner and slughorn's hourglass um you know a lot of the props that we all know and love um so definitely check out their shop um primark also the one piccadilly circus i think that's what it's called no that's not right maybe it is right 
Anyway, the Primark in London that's close to the Noble Collection Store has the best Harry Potter selection. Um, so definitely check that out too. Fantastic Beasts 3 in Brazil. Are you excited about it? Totally excited about it. I love the Fantastic Beasts movies. I know a lot of people don't. Um, and that they were very disappointed with... Um, okay, so tickets are sold out. Darn. Um, don't... Uh, Tottenham Court Road, Primark. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Um, that is definitely the best one. Um, so tickets may be sold out on their website, but if... You're going to be being, you'll, you'll pay more for it, but you may be able to get tickets from like an outside source. So definitely do some Googling and see if you can get tickets because it's really, really good. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about Fantastic Beasts. That's what I was talking about. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't, didn't like uh, how Crimes of Grindelwald was, was made. Um, and it was confusing and some, some canon changes that JK Rowling made, which I agree were frustrating. For example, like professor McGonagall, um, shouldn't have been a teacher there. She, the, the age was wrong. And, um, there was some kind of cover up stuff that was done. Uh, McGonagall's birthday removed from Pottermore. Um, anyway, uh, so, so I know that a lot of some things that were changed and, and and made fans not very happy but i loved that movie i thought it was so good and i can't wait even with the canon changes uh, but i can't wait for for the third one and the fourth and the fifth to see where the story goes and that's another thing is um you know it got horrible reviews terrible reviews but it's not a standalone movie and it's not supposed to be a standalone movie um so it's going to be confusing because we have three more movies for the story to unfold. One thing I do wish is that JK Rowling would have written a book series first. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so, so yeah, I'm very excited about Fantastic Beasts 3 and to see another part of the wizarding world. So Brazil and then four and five, I'm sure we'll see other parts of the world too. So yeah, very excited. All right, let's see. Turkey or ham? It depends on the day. Thanksgiving, definitely turkey. Ham on Christmas. Um, when's your birthday? My birthday is March 5th. So March 5th is my birthday. And it's also um, uh, Harry Potter Collector Day. So I started a, a day and it's on my birthday called Harry Potter Collector Day. So this will be the the third year of Harry Potter Collector Day. So and what 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 we do is like we have like a, a hashtag and um, on Harry Potter Collector Day, March 5th, everyone posts photos of their collection. So you can go into the different hashtags and see other collections from around the world. And yeah, it's really, really fun. Collab with Mindy Minx and Larry Lynx again soon. Yes, they are good friends, and I will absolutely collab with them again at some point. <clears throat> no, my battery's going to run out. Not me, but um, uh, Christina. Christina, you're going to have to charge your battery. you got to get that battery charged. Have you ever visited Finland? I have not visited anywhere except for um, London and Scotland. I was in Edinburgh and um, London with Mama Potter Collector. Um, there are actually two videos on the Potter Collector channel. Actually, no, there are multiple videos on the Potter Collector channel from different things in London. Um, but yeah, those are the only places I've been. And um, I'm excited to see new places as well. Um, let's see. <laughs> fun questions turtles or tortoises i really love both i used to have um pet turtles when i was growing up um but tortoises are so cute especially the big ones with their long necks and they're like you know they're like lovable little creatures um i yeah i, I that's that's a hard one to choose if i had to choose i would probably choose tortoise but i love turtles too Rosalia, yes, March 5th, high five. 
March 5th birthdays are the best birthdays. Sorry, everybody else, but March 5th is the best. <laughs> um, goodbye, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Um, let's see. Do an HP quiz video with the Super Carlin brothers. They would beat me so bad. Um, and I don't know them. Um, I've never met them or spoken to them. But yeah, maybe in the future. That'd be fun. Um, what made you start collecting Harry Potter merchandise? Um, I did answer that earlier. I will very, very briefly, since you just joined. Um, but if you want a longer answer, definitely watch watch this Well, once we've ended it. Um, but I started collecting merch really with the YouTube channel because I started doing reviews. And then I'm like, wow, there's actually some really, really awesome stuff out there. So now I'm a merch and a book collector. <laughs> um, My nose itches so bad. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do this. I'm, you're, so you guys are sending a lot of like this or that, this or that, this or that, which is so fun. So let's do a this or that speed round. And I'm going to pick my nose because it itches. All right, so speed round, this or that. Let's see what you guys can come up with. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Pumpkin juice or butterbeer? Butterbeer. I'm going to have to read really fast too. Hot sauce or sweet and sour hot sauce? Broccoli or Brussels sprouts? Broccoli. <clears throat> uh, pandas or koalas? Ooh, that's hard. Uh, pandas. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Nif or Akami? Akami. Um, snakes or lizards? Ooh, that's hard too. Probably lizards. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Argentina or Brazil? I have, I've never been to either, so I can't say. Harry or Newt? Harry. Black or white? White. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. All the pancakes. Fall or summer? Without a doubt, summer. Harry Potter, Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm not even going to answer that because, well, I'm going to. Harry Potter. Salty or sweet? Ooh, depends on the mood, but if I had to choose one, sweet. Thestrals or basilisks? Thestrals. Rats or mice? Mice. Kiwi or strawberries? Strawberries. Cho Chang or Ginny Weasley? Ginny Weasley. Um, pasta or rice? Pasta. I'm Italian. I got to eat my pasta. My pasta. Um, SpongeBob or Popeye? SpongeBob. Dragons or hippogriffs? Hippogriffs. White chocolate or dark chocolate? Dark chocolate. Star Wars or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Um... Animagus or parcel mouth? Animagus. I'm going to do two more. Um, day or night? Night. Which one do I want to answer? Edinburgh or London? I really loved Edinburgh. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. London, I mean, is historic too and beautiful, but... Edinburgh was like, wow. Moon or star? Star. Forever or never? Forever. Hot or cold? Cold. Um, Ron or Hermione? Hermione. Um, I know I said I was only going to answer a couple more, but no, I'm answering more. Uh, Orlando or Chicago? Orlando. Orlando but my family is all here and my friends are here and my life is here so I can't move to Orlando yet yet at least um violin or guitar violin okay one more uno mas who is it gonna be um what do I want to answer let's see which one is going to stick out um Hmm. I'm just waiting for that that one to be like, oh yes, I'm gonna answer that. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, birdie bot or chocolate frog? Chocolate frog. Always chocolate. Well, that was fun. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do some for you guys. Actually, I'm gonna pick a few of these, and um, you guys answer. Uh, sausage or toast? Ooh, lots of toast. Wow. I didn't expect that. Okay. Um... Harry's wand or Hermione's wand? This is totally epic. <laughs> yeah, Hermione's wand is pretty cool. You know, it has that, uh, the vine. Vine. <laughs> it has the vine. <laughs> Um, I saw another one that I already forgot, but I liked it. Um, let's see if I can find it. It went away very fast. Ah, I can't find it. Um, it's gone. It's lost. It's lost within Harry and Hermione somewhere. Oh, Coke or Pepsi. That one's interesting. And I'll share mine in a second. I don't really drink soda anymore. I stick with water or coffee, but wow, not a lot of Pepsis. Mostly, mostly Coke. Coke is my choice too. Coke is delicious. And some Diet Cokes. Yes, Diet Coke is delicious too. But a nice, crisp, sugar-filled Coke is just mm, gives the gives the chills. Yes, I I water. Yes, water is delightful. It took me a long time to to like water, but now it's like all I drink, which is probably a good thing. But a Coke every once in a while is is good too. Um, all right, let's see. We'll do one more. I was going to pin two companies against each other, but I'm not going to do that. Um, how about Ooh, this is this could be interesting. Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone or Deathly Hollows. So Philosopher's Stone, Sorcerer's Stone is the one book. So book one or book seven. Okay, this one, I was expecting this. It's pretty mixed. Yeah, this one's pretty mixed. <clears throat> They're both just so good. I mean, Philosopher's Stone, Sorcerer's Stone is so good. Because, you know, it's the first one. Deathly Hallows is just a phenomenal book. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, for me, out of those two, it would probably be Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone. But my favorite book is Chamber of Secrets. Ooh, Cheryl wanted to make sure hers was known. Deathly Hallows. Cheryl sent a super chat. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Deathly Hollows, she says. I'm totally just squatting in a squat position. It's very comfortable. Oh, okay. Here's one. Squatting position or seated position? <laughs> seated. Sitting. Seated. Why would you squat? 
<laughs> because it's just so comfortable. Like, I don't know why. So, all right. So my, like I have, I'm not double jointed, but I have like stretchy joints. I don't know what you call it. So like I can, I literally like sit down like on my heels. Um, and it's just really comfortable for me. I don't know why. So, and I see other people are saying squatted too. Oh, you're oh Japanese. I'm Japanese squatted. Yeah, it's just it's just comfortable to squat. Totally weird question, I know, but hey, whatever. Um, all right. How's life going? It's going well. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, it's going well. Have you guys to hang out with? I um, am in Holiday Inn this season. Um, my sister got married, um, last Saturday. So I have a new brother-in-law and hopefully some nieces and nephews real soon. Uh, <laughs> life is good right now. Thanks for asking. Um, bye Priscilla. Um, <laughs> in-laws or outlaws. That's funny. In-laws, all the in-laws. Um, I'm fading fast, you guys, because I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to answer a couple more questions. I can feel myself fading really, really fast. Uh... Packers or Bears? I don't love football, but I would pick Bears. Bears, come on. Duh, Bears. Um, all right. Dos Mas questions. Two more questions. N and not this or that questions. Let's see. Who's going to get a question answered? Let's go find out. Um... When you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a doctor. That was kind of my dream. But um, guys, eight years of school plus like more years of whatever you call it, not for me. It'd be cool, but there's, and I don't regret it at all. I don't regret not going out to to be a doctor. Um, but that was my dream job as a kid. Um, what I'm doing now is so much more fun and, uh, rewarding than, than being a doctor would have been for me. So, but yeah, that was my dream job. Uh, today's my brother's birthday and we're going to a trampoline park. Okay. I have always wanted to go to trampoline park. They look so fun. Have a blast at the trampoline park and happy birthday to your brother. Um, you are a doctor of Potter, <laughs> you know, everything HP, there's still more to learn, but as a doctor, you know, I would still have more to learn. So Dr. Potter collector, <laughs> that's my new name. Um, not really, but, uh, all right. What time is it here? It's 2 13 PM, 2 13 PM. Um, all right, one more question. Uh, what was the first Harry Potter merchandise you bought? I like that. It was... This book right here, I had seen it online and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the, like the gold gilding on the, the edges, the text block. And this was the first, the first book that I collected. Um, it was too expensive. I've told this story before, but it was, I mean, this is like a $150 book. Um, and it was too expensive in the store. And what's weird is they were still selling them in the store but they were going for like 250 on eBay. 
and I wanted it, but I couldn't afford it. And um, researched, I always say research and educate yourselves. I researched and educated myself and found the book for 20 bucks on a discount website. And um, this book right here is what started the Potter Collector Library, as well as um, uh, in my earlier years, I bought and sold Harry Potter books to help fund this collection. And this book right here is kind of what helped um, uh, build that buy and selling business as well. Um, Hold on, let me just put it back real, real quick. So I don't have to keep holding it. And what was, where was I going with this? Hang on. It will come to me. <laughs> uh, I just talk too much and go off on tangents and then I have to find my way back. Um, okay, I was talking about... I have no idea what I was going to talk about. Okay, let me rewind because now I'm flustered. So now my brain is like shooting off things to try to remember. Okay, so I... Oh, so, okay. So I found... Um, this closeout website, you know, and they were 20 bucks. And, um, so I borrowed money from, from my parents and I said, you know, this book, it's selling for $250 on eBay and it's only $20 here. And my dad loves the story and I love the story. Um, and my dad said to me that, you know, oh, you know, you know, that's not really how things work. You know, he didn't, he didn't think that I could basically buy a book and then sell it for $250 like on eBay. And so he said, um, he says that, that it was a good life lesson for me to learn, you know, that, that you can't, you can't do that. Um, and so he, but he said, you know, we can buy one and then you can try to sell it. So I bought one and sold it for $250. And then my dad says, how many more can we buy? <laughs> so, so we bought like 20 more. And, um, I sold those 20 books and built that, that was the, the beginning of the Potter collector, um, uh, collection. So that was the first thing that, um, that started the collection. That was a very long, uh, drawn out story. And I apologize that my brain shut off for a second, but, um, I do need food. Yes. What am I having for lunch? Um, I've also said this in the past. Um, I don't love to cook. I have a, I actually have a degree in, in a culinary degree, but I don't love to cook. Um, I did like to cook and then I went to school for culinary and, um, uh, food service administration and <laughs> just discovered that I never want to cook again because, uh, it was, it was, uh, yeah, school was hard. It's like eight hour classes where you're in the kitchen. Um, so I haven't gotten back my cooking love yet. Um, but so I ordered, um, uh, weekly meals basically where they send you individual, they're like TV dinners, but they're like really good food TV dinners. It's all freshly made every week. And, um, yeah, so, so, uh, I really do need to eat, um, There's like a coconut shrimp option that I have. There's, um, oh, I usually start with blueberry pancakes. There's blue, which are so good. Um, so I'll probably have blueberry pancakes and another cup of coffee for lunch, for breakfast, lunch. Um, yeah, so that'll be good. Um, let's see. Nicole Spence, love you, love you back. Uh, Daniel, are you religious? Yes, I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Um, best if can. Um, Sonic or McDonald's? Sonic. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go, guys, because I need food and more coffee. Um, thank you for joining. This was, I, 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 I've said, I said it again, or I'm going to say it again. I need to do more spur of the moment. Um, live videos because this is fun i know i know i know you don't want me to go i kind of don't want to go either but i do have to eat because my stomach is rumbling there's a rumbling in my tumbling 
Um, bye, guys. It was fun chatting. Thank you for being part of this community. And um, I appreciate you guys. And still mind-blowing. We have hit 200,000 subscribers. 200,000 Potter Collector community members. Keep collecting. Have a great rest of your day.